Hello valued viewers, I hope you're ready for almost certainly the biggest battle we've ever tried and probably the biggest battle we'll ever try. Welcome to North Korea versus South Korea, a year in the making. This is going to be an enormous battle and I'm aware that most of you valued viewers skip the briefing and go straight to the fighting and you're welcome to do that. But this time round, if you do skip the briefing, this is going to make no sense at all. This is just going to be hundreds of hundreds of pixels fighting hundreds of other pixels. So if possible, I suggest you just take the 10 minutes or so and listen to the briefing. You guys have been asking for this battle for well over a year and I've been trying it and trying it but it's just too difficult. There's just so much work that goes into setting a battle up like this, so many hours that every time I start I just give up and just say this just isn't worth it. But we're finally there. I've spent this weekend just finishing it off. As well as the size of it, the main problem I had is that as soon as you start doing any research, you realise that North and South Korea operate very differently. South Korea spend their budget on modern aircraft and modern SAM defense systems. Whereas North Korea don't spend their money on their air force. Their air force is absolutely ragtag. They spend their money on ballistic missiles and such. Now, I wanted to wait until I had all of the ballistic missiles modeled and working in game, but that's had a whole bunch of challenges on its own. So today we're going without the ballistic missiles and we'll factor that in in our role play. Before we talk about the role play, let's have a quick look at the contents of this video. First, we're going to talk about the role play, obviously. Next, we need to talk about the research. We need to talk about the surface to air missile systems, the Air Force strengths. We need to talk about the squadron and the regiment locations and strengths because we want to make this as geographically realistic as possible. And then we want to look at our workings. Then we're going to take a closer look at this map, the scenario here, and see how roughly how we've got everything set out and any inaccuracies that we've got. We always will have some inaccuracies. We'll then have a quick chat to my guys for predictions and then we'll go for the fight. So first, role play. In real life, if North Korea aggressed on South Korea, which is what we are simulating here, the first thing they would do, obviously, is launch a bunch of their ballistic missiles. We can't simulate that, or at least not realistically enough. So I want to negate that. And I think I found a way of doing it. During my research, I see that the United States implemented a series of PAC-3 Patriot sites at strategic areas to defend from these ballistic missiles. As well as that, I see the new development of anti-ballistic SAMs. These are indigenous SAMs that South Korea are developing and putting into service now, again to negate the threat of ballistic missiles. So I've removed the ballistic missiles because of the new anti-ballistic missile development. In that case, I've also removed the PAC-3 Patriot systems from the Americans and I've removed the super modern indigenous SAMs. I'm going to say they've nullified each other out. Now we're just down to the air forces and the surface-to-air missile sites. Next, let's talk about research. First, surface-to-air missile sites. This is open source information from the internet on North and South Korea's missile systems. First, North Korea has two super long-range sites, SA-5 legacy systems. And you can see their location and coverage here. Also, it has nearly 50 medium-range SA-2 guideline and SA-3 Davina sites. The guidelines are shown in red, the Davinas are shown in blue, most populated at the capital Pyongyang. South Korea, bearing in mind that I've removed Patriot Pack 3 and the modern indigenous system for the role play purposes that I talked about before, we have remaining medium range sites are the Legacy Hawk sites and you can see them with the yellow bands. There are two sets of red rings, first is the super long range Nike Hercules which we've got for instance there, there and to the south. However, according to things I've read, it's almost certainly they're not serviceable due to their age, so I've removed Nike Hercules. We've also got the American Patriot Pac-2 systems based around here, Seoul, and south. So, with that information, I've put the sites in as accurately as I could. But we always have restrictions when we do this because we do it on multiplayer and there's only so much bandwidth we have. So the restrictions I've put in are Rather than modeling all of the medium range systems, of which there are approaching 100 in total, 
I've restricted both North and South Korea to 13 medium range sites each and I've chosen the 13 that are closest to the border. So for instance, if we see the border or the DMZ which is shown in pink here, I should say this map is to scale plus or minus 10 miles. It looks very ragtag, but it is, as far as today counts, North and South Korea. So you can see these range rings are the 13 closest Hawk sites South Korea are using. Here, modeled are the closest SA2 guideline sites, 13 of, to the DMZ. The two super long range S200 gammons are in place there and there, as per real life. And the American Patriot Pack 2 sites are in within a few miles of their real locations. So that is today's SAMs and the restrictions that I've put in and the reasons for them. Next, Air Force Strengths, straight out of Wiki. It's a really good resource for this. South Korea, 2023. 19 KT-1s, think Super Tucano. 60 T-50s, a small supersonic trainer half of which have been upgraded with the ANAPG-84 radar from America and AMRAAM missiles, and we've modelled that today. 19 Legacy Phantoms, 80 Tigers, 59 F-15E Strike Eagles. Their mainstay, like a lot of uh, small countries, the F-16, they have 167 F-16 CD and V, all being upgraded to Victor with AESA radar and AMRAAM missiles, and that's as we have them modelled today. F-35s, they have 40 of them, A model, and four AWACS. Total, 444 combat aircraft and four AWACS. North Korea, and this is a real interesting ragtag air force that they have. Let's just go down in the order it shows here. Uh, all Russian and Chinese, and the Chinese ones are Russian designed, so you might as well just say all Russian aircraft. SU-25 Frogfoot, 34 of combat and training. Chinese F-5s, which are MiG-17s, really old planes, 106 of them. F-6, which is MiG-19, 97 of them. F-7, which is MiG-21, 120. Uh, Russian MiG-21, 26. MiG-23, 56. MiG-29 is the most modern fighter, which is still over 40 years old. Uh, 35, SU-7, 18, really old planes, uh, Ilyushin 28, 80 of them. So their most modern aircraft is a MiG-29 at 40 plus years old. Their oldest aircraft still in service and presumably what they would attack South Korea with, Ilyushin 28s, which are 73 years old this year. So that is a really old air force, whereas South Korea's have brand new planes, lightnings coming in. And that shows the difference and the difficulty I had, obviously, setting this up. Next, let's have a closer look at the squadron and regiment layouts, which is important to understand. Otherwise, the geography of the country won't really mean anything. To do that, we subbed this out to our good friend, Combat Ineffective. And if you want to see his channel, and I suggest you do, please see that in the video description. First, South Korea. At A, we have 1st Fighter Wing, F-5s. B, 8th Fighter Wing, F-50A, Golden Eagles upgraded with the American radar and AIM-120C7 missiles. C, 10th Fighter Wing, F-5 and Legacy F-4. D, we have 11th Fighter Wing. This is the F-15Ks or the F-15Es as we're modeling them today, the Strike Eagles. E, 16th Fighter Wing, Trainer and Golden Eagles, Legacy Sidewinder only. At F, 17th Fighter Wing, which is the uh, 40 F-35As. At Golf, we have the 18th Fighter Wing, F-5s. At H, we have 19th Fighter Wing, F-16, and we've got them as victors. India, we have F-16, 20th Fighter Wing, and at Juliet, we have 38th Fighter Group, F-16s. Next, the American Contingent. And this is something I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, but I didn't because I've got a lot to speak about. This is the Americans. The Americans are in South Korea with their missiles and their fighter jets. And the whole idea today is, today is a two-part series. We're going to run it first without American help. And then if South Korea loses, we're then going to run the whole thing again with the American help. So this is obviously the first of two videos. So this is the Americans, but we're not doing the Americans today. Uh, next, North Korea, and they've got a lot, and we're just going to blast through this as quick as we can. A, 24 Air Regiment Bombers, the Ilyushins and MiG-21s. Bravo, 35th Air Regiment, the MiG-19s. Charlie, 
36th Air Regiment MiG-19s at Delta, 55th Air Regiment SU-25, 57th Air Regiment MiG-29, Echo, 49th Air Regiment MiG-17, MiG-21 and some helicopters, Foxtrot, 58th Air Regiment MiG-23 and 60th Air Regiment the MiG-21s. Next, Alpha, 4th Air Regiment, MiG-17 and MiG-21. 32nd Air Regiment, MiG-17 and MiG-21. Bravo, 33rd Air Regiment, MiG-17 and the 11th MiG-17. Charlie, 50th Air Regiment, MiG-21. We're getting there. Alpha, 56th Air Regiment, MiG-21. Bravo, 25th Air Regiment, Ilyushin and MiG-21. Charlie, 46th Air Regiment, MiG-21, 66th Regiment, Choppers, not modelled today. Delta, 71st Air Regiment, MiG-21. Echo, 72nd, MiG-21. Last slide. Alpha, 41st Air Regiment, MiG-15. Bravo, 21s of an unknown regiment. Charlie, 21s of an unknown regiment. And Delta, 15s of an unknown regiment. You can start to get a feel why modelling this was so difficult. Next, uh, just a quick slide in case you have any interest at all, which you probably don't, of my workings out. I had to go and find out how to convert those regiment strengths into our game or our sim. And so this is how I've done it in North Korea, South Korea. We can see the regiments at the various airfields, the regiment quantities here. Also, next to each regiment, you'll see a number in green. That is the regiment strength. Now, this is, again, really important, and maybe I should have mentioned this at the beginning. If we model this one for one, there would be over 1,100 planes. Altogether, these two air forces have over 1,100 planes. We couldn't get our server to handle that. So we've cut it in half. Every single regiment strength, I've cut in half. So you'll see the green number is everything divided by two. And today we're going with 550 planes instead of 1,100 planes. And the red number next to it is an important number. It's the iteration of the regiment and or squadron. Here you can see South Korea. They were easier to set out. We've got the squadrons. You've got the squadron strength, div two, and you've got the iteration of the squadron. Okay, that's how I've worked it out. Next, we're going to go on to the actual scenario itself. Sorry it's taken so long, but now you can start to see how we've got everything set out geographically, strength and weapons wise. So, first of all, geography. This is not South Korea. This is actually somewhere in Syria, I think. I've modified it massively, but everything is correct to within 10 miles. So, as far as we care about, this is South and North Korea. I've talked about the DMZ, you can see in the middle there. We've talked about the SAMs, which are set out as accurately as I can with the terrain available. Overview, North Korea, 304 aircraft plus humans. Remember, that's half the strength of real life. 15 SAMs. Uh, which is about a quarter of the strength of real life for the reasons we said, and five EWR close to real life positions. South Korea, 224 aircraft, half of real life, plus our humans. We've got 19 SAMs, which is about half the strength of their real life, and they've got two AWACSs, half the strength of real life. Now, I don't want to go through every single one of these units because it's going to take way too much time, but as you can see, I've put all of the regiments in their correct strengths and types in the correct places. I put labels by each one so you can see the strengths and the regiment type there. I'm just thinking if there are any points of interest, and there are. There will be some inaccuracies. We do not have an Illusion 28 in game, so I've replaced it with a plane that is nine years older, which is this here. An Illusion is not a million times better than this, to be honest. A Ju-88, twin-engine World War II bomber. The bombers today from North Korea are going to be doing bombing. I'm not going to go through each one, but they are tasked, and there are lots of them. There are 100 and something bombers they have. They're going to fly low over the mountainous areas into Seoul and the South Korean bases near to the DMZ, and they're going to try and bomb the runways. I'm just picked on this one here. You can see it's going to travel down here through the canyons. It's going to go here, and it's going to try and bomb that uh, fictitious runway in South Korea there. And that goes for all of the bombers, the SU-25s and all the other bomber regiments that we've got there. Okay, so like I said, nearly 100 bombers today. MiG-17s we don't have in game, so we've replaced them with MiG-15, which is going to make no difference. It's very little difference between a MiG-15 and a MiG-17 as far as a large war game. The MiG-21s, the MiG-23s, the MiG-29s are all pretty much bang on as per real life, uh, same as the frog fur, as well as aged 1980s platforms. Their weapons are aged weapons with their R60s and their Alamos and stuff from the 1980s. So the SAMs are all 100% realistic in the realistic places. One really important point, valued viewers, I can't spawn in all 550 aircraft at once. It will kill the server. So the way we're spawning them in, this is quite important, and I think relatively realistic anyway, is I've created a bunch of time triggers. 
every five minutes, the next wave, the next amount of them will take off from their bases and spawn in. So the first five minutes, it'll only be the humans in there. At the five minute mark, this spawn happens and these guys spawn in. Each one of these is a flight of four from the regiment as shown. And it will, every five minutes, next five minutes, they will spawn in, you know, however many hundreds that is. The next five minutes, they will spawn in. And I've timed it so that each time, the next four of each regiment spawns in. So it's simulating taking off from their bases every five minutes. So it's done, done it as realistically as I could. A quick look at uh, the South Koreans before we head off. So everything's starting in the correct place with the correct regiment strengths div 2. F-16s today are, we've finally created the Block 72, or the Victor, as you might call it. And we're calling it a Block 50 because I couldn't be bothered to change the names. It does have the modern AESA radar that the real one has. It also has a new weapon that we've put in, the A120 C7, which is that one there, with a range of about 50 nautical miles, about 55 statute miles, and a little bit better than the C5. F-35As they've got in here. Again, AMRAMs, I've gone for non-stealth spec. I don't know whether they will go up in stealth spec or not, but they've gone up in a low observability spec with a bunch of AMRAMs again. Strike Eagles are played by Strike Eagles with Strike Eagle weapons and AMRAMs and stuff. Apart from the markings, it's pretty much an F-15K. Golden Eagles is an inaccuracy today, but I don't think it's too bad. So the Golden Eagles with the uh, Block 20 upgrade, so the AESA radar and the AMRAMs, I've got uh, Bogs playing as them. Now, they're only 200 knots different in their top speed, and I've just nerfed the amount of missiles that can be carried to match the Golden Eagle. Uh, you've also got the Golden Eagles that are not the Block 20, so the Block uh, 10 and whatnot, uh, and they are just Sidewinders as they would be in real life. Nearly there, guys. A uh, bunch of F5s, which are just F5s. A bunch of F4s, which are just F4s. I can't think of anything else of interest apart from humans. All AI have one life only. Humans have infinite respawns. They start about uh, 80 miles back from DMZ. Humans, on the blue side, have a choice of F16s. Guys, if you want to go non milsim you can have a Grim Reaper's Block 72 with A120C7s on them. Or if you want to go Milsim, you've got Eagle Dynamics's uh, Block 50 with slightly older missiles and an older radar, uh, A120C. North Koreans are mirrored over here, and you get one plane to choose from, which is the MiG 29A, exactly as they would have it set out in real life with 1980s weaponry, guys. And that is my interpretation, like I said, excluding the ballistic missiles and the anti-ballistic missile technology of what this fight would look like in real life with real strengths. Predictions. I don't know who's going to win. I can't run it through because my PC crashes. So I'm hoping our supercomputer in Sweden is going to be able to run it. Who do you think is going to win? And when I say win, no one's going to like roll tanks over the DMZ and start shooting stuff. Oh, one more thing quickly, in case anyone's still watching. Just to make sure I haven't cheated, check out the unit list. 551 planes I've got in there and 308 vehicles on the ground. Uh, so that's 850, 859 vehicles we've got today, which is why it's going to be so big. So it will be more or less which Air Force is going to do the most boom boom, do you think, guys? Uh, quick question. Mm. What skill level did you give the North Korea? Everyone yeah. is set to veteran, okay? Which is a kind of like medium. Um, usually I would set it up to ace, but um, because there was so many units here and it defaults to veteran, I didn't want to didn't want to touch it, so I've left everything as veterans. Everything is the same, basically, about a medium setting. So that's already going to skew results because the average North Korean pilot maybe gets 10 flying hours a year. That's a fair thing, guys. Yep. This AI is already probably better than the real-life North Korean pilot. I'm going to say North Korea may win this because they'll throw enough shit at the wall. And it's a thing. Eventually, the Blues run out of missiles. They run out of SAMs. A fair way we've learned of winning things is just to put enough, willing to lose enough pilots, it is a way of doing things. But yeah, fair enough. Modern technology, modern victory, South Korea. I yeah. agree. Welcome in, viewers. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. As not America, I was about to say. Uh, South Korea, without America, we've got Simba, Sock, Cannibal, F 16, Core Game, North Korea, MiG 29s, Push, Drop, Bird. Uh, because it's a big, important battle, anyone got fighting talk? Glorious leader will make us successful. There you <laughs> go. Kill you. I see. Simba, for my sins, unpause the server on the biggest thing we've ever done. 551 aircraft and 308 ground units. This ain't going to work. Right, let's have a look first. For the first five minutes, it'll be humans only. Every five minutes from then on, uh, AI will start to spawn. I'll try and give you a warning when the spawn happens because it'll be enormous and uh, terrifying. We do everything we can to get humans in these game viewers. AI, uh, useful and, you know, cheap to run and don't complain, but they can get stale. 
My humans, well, they are cheap, but they're not easy to run, and they do complain, but they can um, they do some good stuff. Can't you, damn? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you've got such a big, viewers, uh, disparity in technology here. This is an F-16. These are guys that are using purposefully out-of-date Block 50 F-16s, but still, good radar, good long-range. Um, AMRAMs. Back here, the most modern thing these guys have is MiG 29s from 19 early 80s with old um, SAHR missiles. Not too good at all. Push is looking for blood. First uh, contacts roughly heading 324 for about 200 nautical miles. Yep, like I said, everything is modeled. Um, and this is a small country, but still, they're flying over the whole country pretty much. It's about the size of my country, both of these put together. Um, we're we're going to run out of fuel before we get there. Well, that's a you problem, guys. Uh, don't burn. Well, we've got a chance. Why don't we look at have some of the units? I can't believe that both countries are running such old sites. This is an SA-2 guideline site from the 1950s, ex-Soviet stuff. Uh, this, an absolute beast. A lot of countries still use this, if I can find it. S-200 is a massive area denial system. Um, look at the size of these missiles. They're like 30 feet long each with a range of 150 something miles, I can't remember. Uh, Syria, various countries still use S200 here. The Davinas, I've not modeled, which are all around Pyongyang because of the restrictions I said earlier. Um, you've already got three, over 300 ground units just to model this lot. So you can see restrictions start to come into play. South Korea's Hawk systems, uh, American, again, old and uh, probably better than the Russian stuff, but they're still, you know, it's, it's old tech. Patriot sites, oh, I can't even see them. Much more modern, range of about 80 miles. Um, the Nike Hercules is a really interesting old 1950s American site designed for shooting. Again, it's air denial, anti-bomber type thing. Uh, they still have them in place, but it says on every website I've said they probably don't work anymore. So a Nike, Her oh, a Nike Hercules missile probably wouldn't fire. So, pretty much. Yeah, they've been decommissioned by the americans since the 70s uh oh jesus 10 seconds oh. and the big spawn's happening 10 seconds get ready guys please don't crash please don't crash please don't crash yeah bring it in first spawn 100 and, i don't know 30 planes that was a hard stutter that was a hard stutter <laughs> all right viewers it's working so far it's going to get laggy until it all sinks back in so you may be flying backwards for a while in fact yep literally you guys are flying backwards. Right, viewers, I'm going to go through as much stuff as I can before missiles start flying. So, first of all, we've got uh, F-15Ks. Woo! I'm an F-15K. Next, we've got Lightnings. You all know Lightning by now. Doing lightning -y things. Uh, we've set them up as low observability rather than stealth, but against these old Russian radars, they're pretty much still, still going to be stealth, to be honest. We've got F-16 Victors. We've got modelled now with the new Acer, Acer radar and the AIM-120 C-7 missiles with over 50 miles of range doing things uh phantoms are in there but i can't see them f5s doing f5 things golden eagles today played by bogs they're basically a stretched golden eagle today um yeah mig 21s being mig 21s no nope, that's a mig 15 playing a mig 17 there are some mig 21s in there i just can't see them there they are first spawn look at that no one's crashed into each other yet so there's been no deaths which is nice nothing weird's gone wrong Big 29s from Pyongyang. Go ahead, Sok. Okay, Sok is engaging targets to the left-hand side, the left group. Edition 28s. Played by Junkers. One Big 21s. Let me know when you stop firing, guys. I'm just looking around at the moment. Oh, no, here's Pyongyang. Drops ready to fire. Oh, Jeez, go ahead, guys. Do boom, boom. First missile out is a SAM. 200,000 pounds SAM. Well, I can't see it, but I might be able to cheat. Oh, no, and an Alamo. It's a, one of these. Hawk. Where's it actually happening? I mean, this is, like I said, this is to scale. I can turn the C off if we want, viewers. The C is not kind of real, so do you know what I mean? I can turn it off and on. I'll leave it off for now. All right. Oh, there's the Hawk. It's after a MiG-21. Interestingly, it didn't... Um, I just I forgot to put the Alamo in the in the weapons, um, in the costing sheet, so the Alamos aren't showing up. My bad. I always forget something. There's always something to forget. Humans here, look. Humans here against some MiGs. Uh, the humans can see whatever the AWAC shows them. They cannot see God mode. Whoops, they cannot see God mode like me. These F4s are about to clash with these MiG-21s. These F-16s are about to clash with these MiG-21s. What's over on the east? Nothing's about to clash with nothing. Let's go for an overview at the moment like that. Our first... Sorry, Fire at will. Sparrow out from F4 Phantom. Cannonball Fox 3. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Cannonball Fox 3. Right, where's my guys? We have Fox 3s? 
Yeah, you do. You do. You got Amram's guys in the mix. Uh, in the mix, you do not have Fox threes. So you have a uh, Mig Fox one semi-active only. First kill of the day, Mig twenty one merge dogfight already. Wow, Mig twenty one and F four. That's a thing. Got by each other supersonic. Following my boys' missiles. There's a there's a there's a gammon out or whatever the hell that is. I don't know a thing. A guideline. This thing's about to do a thing. I mean, lots of me saying thing today. Good kill human. Kill two Mig twenty ones. Gammon's in the air. Air S two hundred in the air. 30 foot missile on its way. 1F4 down. 1F4 down. Yep. MiG 15 down, MiG 21 down, F4 down. Fox Gammon. 3 can block. Gammon is shrieking towards his golden eagle. MiG 21 down. Well, MiG 21 down. And. That's what Aero Denial can do. S200 at its finest. That's why they're still used. Okay, the whole western flank of North Korea has been wiped out. The, the Phantoms have just smashed them. Well done, Phantoms. East flank. Combat. Oh my god. Things are happening. MiG 21s. I'm getting shot. More. Uh, guidelines out. We've got a friggin' merge. Look at this beautiful merge. Cannonballs just gone in. Boom, boom, boom. F 16 is merged in there. Smash. F 4s getting shot by Sam Sight. Flew right over it like a friggin' idiot. Guidelines out. Matt. Oh, good dodge, Got mate. Fox one. Okay. There's a lot to watch here, guys. A lot to watch. Oh, I think the server's crashed. Ah, oh, I think the server's crashed. No, it's not. It's not. It's just the latest spawn. Oh, my God. The latest spawn is big. Server will come back. Server will come back. Come on, server. Come back. Come back. At the moment, none of you are moving. I'm moving. No, I'm just yeah, trying. Right the aircraft Fox, Fox three. Only about 5% of the aircraft are moving on the map at the moment. It could still re resync. Come on, resync, little server. Yeah, I don't see Simba moving on the F10 map. Yeah. We'll give it another minute, guys. If it doesn't work, I'll just have to move it over to single player. All right, guys, we tried our absolute best, but with the best will in the world, and there's no way of testing this on multiplayer until we actually run it, it's the internet. The internet's a restriction, and you can't really blame it. Uh, you know, we've got, I don't know, probably 500 aircraft done. Let's try moving over to single player, guys, and you'll just have to watch my screen. Right, we're trying a multi prong approach. I'm going to rank on single player here. The boys can watch at their will on my screen. Uh, Simba's going to be running it on the supercomputer in Sweden, but kind of isolated. Right, the first spawns just happened. You can see the game clock at the top right. I'm going to sort of skip it forward a little bit if I can. Right, now the first thing I did see was down on the west wing, the F4s just steamrolled over the MiG-21s. However, I think that's because the MiG-21s, stupid as they are, started fighting in this Hawk Samnet. As soon as you fight in a Samnet anywhere, you just become terrible, unless you're a true stealth fighter. Right, first missile's out. Same missile that fired a multi Those MiG-21s. And that missile is probably going to be evaded. I'm going to turn the sea off because they fight in the sea here. It's hard to see them. Oh my god, it almost hit. Is it that MiG-17? F4 is doing F4 things. Yeah, I am an F4. We're going to get a Hawk kill. Hawk is old technology. I think you can only fire one missile at once. Some Russian Sam's out now. It's dead MiG-17. Man. Sparrow's out again. Basically, he's replaying exactly what he played last time. This time he's dodged though. Oof. What's that? What's that? That's a guideline coming in. Same guideline as last time. We have a merge. The same merge as last time. And oh. Someone's dead. Aim 9 kill. Oof. Mac. What on Phantom? Phantom down. Mac. Dead. Guideline. C7's coming out. Yeah, they're working. First test of C7 in DCS. Mac. Dead. Another aim 9 kill. Five MiGs down. One Phantom down. That's a pretty good trade trade rate. And a merge. Let's see what's happening elsewhere. My machine is feeling clunky, but it's not crashed yet. Over here, this fight's over here. But this bunch of MiG 21s run into this freaking Samnet because they're freaking idiots. Actually, it's not their fault. The, the, the old RWRs in these MiGs are pretty terrible. No idea where Sam's are. Although, I suppose their intelligence would have told them. Oh, crack on that. Okay, seven MiGs down. 
three phantoms. No, a golden eagle went down. It was that same one. It was hit by a S200. Woo Look at all the Sams going up. You see them? Those Sam trails. Oh, it's crashed. No, it hasn't crashed. <laughs> That was the next spawn. That was the 10 minute spawn. This is where the multiplayer, multiplayer server choked up. We're still going. It's laggy as hell, but we're going. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Go on. CPU is a full thingy at the moment. MIG down. Eight MIGs down. Three Phantoms down. One Golden Eagle down. There's going to be combat soon on the west side. F5s v MIG. Uh, 21s, as there pretty much would be on that side. Merge, MiG-21, Phantom. Guidelines, shooting a Phantom. Mac. Now, the quicker they can kill each other, the better for us. Because in four minutes, another hundred's gonna spawn in. So I need a hundred to die, real friggin' quick. C7's coming in from the F-16Vs. These should wipe down some guys. These are dang fine missiles. Dang fire missiles, expensive as well. Yeah, look at that! C7 smacking down MiGs. Oh, I swear, I really need an Intel CPU, viewers. Help a lot. Bang! Dead. Okay, we're wiping... Now the F-16s are in, they're wiping down. They're chewing up, guys. Chewing up MiGs, as you would expect. Well, they once got through and merged, but an F-16... No, it's an F-5. How about that? Leave them to duel it out. Let's check on the west wing. Center wing. Aim 120 C7s banging in. And we have merges. Just as we thought we would do. Mi 21s and aged F5 dogfighting like they would have 50 years ago. Right, we've got three minutes till the next major spawn. I need some MIGs shot down, please. So far, 21 MIGs, six South Koreans down. Good kill. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, F5 down. Back to the center. These MiGs are pushing right into South Korea. Where's the DMZ gone? There's the DMZ. So look, the numbers of the South Koreans have just pushed. It's just... They're just, just flying through everything. Oh, fly through you. The middle's been held at bay. Look, the Sam, the, the Hawks are doing the bay uh, around north of Seoul. That guy's up Angel's 35. What are you doing up there, mate? Gonna get freaking smacked. Apart from this side, the F-16Vs have pushed right into North Korea, right past the guideline sites, dodged the guidelines. There's some error denial coming in. There's a gammon coming in for an F-16. Oh, it's an F-16 down. First F-16 down. F-16V. This is where the fight is. It's on the east wing. The, not Americans, the F-16s have pushed 30 miles into South North Korea and have just overwhelmed the SAMs with their numbers. 30 MIG shot down. It's, whatever that is has been fired. That's from a... That's from a MIG-23. Floggers are in. From Pyongyang. Oh, they're fast. Uh, F-16 is about to get shot down. He's just been swarmed. The swarm. These were human players. They would have the friggin' sense to get back across the DMZ. But they're not. They're stupid AI. And so they just fly straight into North Korea. And the F-16 is getting picked. No, only two are dead. They've done bloody well. Chased by these old 80s uh, Alamos, look which are inherently terrible, so they've been beaten. Another F-16's gone down, but what do you expect if you're 30 miles inside North Korea? 41 North Koreans down. Look at the... F I, don't, I don't know. What, was, what, do you look, what do you look at at a time like this? A thing? Enormous battle. 43 MiGs down. 14. Uh, guys. Huge deficit in kill rate. Smack! Those aim 120 C7s just kill everything. But remember, there's a very much limited amount of them. Five seconds and the next one spawns in. Is it going to crash? Almost oh, certainly. <gasps> oh, <my God>. <coughs> <coughs> Look at that! We're down to about three FPS. Top dog fighting to kill each other. The West Wing is now just absolutely saturated with numbers, numbers, numbers. And here come the bombers. The bombers, the friggin' Illusions have made it in. The Sams have just been completely over words. Huge shock fights going on over here. Completely unsustainable amount of CPU time they're using. The middle is clear. 
What's going on here? Look at the F-16s. They've been dominant. They just smashed all the way. They're nearly at Pyongyang in this valley here over the suburbs. They're absolutely insatiable. Now, normally, I would give them orders to RTB once they run out of ammo. I haven't done that on purpose because I want them to die. I need them to die to clear up CPU time. The idea is they're meant to be getting shot down by these old guidelines, but the guidelines are too shockingly bad. They can't shoot the F-16s down. No, he's just going at Mark II over Pyongyang for no reason at all. Just feels like it. Huh. 60 North Koreans down. m 20 c 7 still coming in. Smacking planes out the sky. More. Dodge. More. Words. Well, I did say it's the biggest one we've ever done. Hopefully it's the biggest one we'll ever do, as you can see. Technology hasn't caught up with us yet. Right, get rid of that MiG-21, push to Pyongyang, or declare it a victory. They're way over the DMZ now, look at that. West side, the North Koreans have found a weak weakness in the South Koreans, but the F-18s are coming in, the Golden Eagles are coming. So there was a massive gap on the West flank. The F-5s just couldn't do the work. So what's happened? They've sent the Block 20 Golden Eagles in with the big radar and the A-120s. There's a good chance they're gonna kill their own guys there. And where, are the ra where are the Raptors going? Where are they? F-35s, F-35s. Here's the problem with F-35s, they've stationed them right at the south of the country. Which make, keeps them nice and safe, but look, even burning, they're gonna take forever to get to combat. I'm slightly worried about the left flank now, about this west, sorry, about this west flank. These bombers are gonna get through and start bombing runways soon, which I really didn't think would happen. Look, they're pouring across purely with numbers. Right, 68 North Koreans down to 22 South Koreans, so quality is only, a, you know, it's one side. F-16s are still operating around here. Where are the MiG-29s? Anyone seen any MiG-29s? MiG-29s are in from Pyongyang. They are looking very mean. They are looking very 80s. MiG-21 F-5 merge. You can see a lot of those today. More C-7s. Ooh, I think. I'm gonna dodge a C-7. Son of a gun. No, they haven't. Ha <laughs> ha! Reacquired, sir. So H-7 down. Look at all the C-7s in the sky. These Battle truck F-16Vs. 76 North Koreans down. We've only got two minutes before the next spawn. I need you to wipe some more guys out. We needed those friggin' F-35s on the right flank to go and wipe those marauding MiG-21s down. Smack! MiG-17 down. These are just completely... These are just old paperweights. Uh, they actually use them as training, training planes, but in this case, in this scenario, they've mobilised everything. Everything's mobilised. Brilliant salvo of... M120 C7s just smashed everything down. 86 North Koreans down to 26 South Koreans. And bear in mind, we're operating in their territory. I'll say this pretty good. And don't say they've run out of SAMs because they haven't. Those SAMs are still very much firing. They're just not very effective against F16. Look at that ship falling on the suburbs of Pyongyang. 91 North Koreans down. 27 South Koreans down. I don't know what all these missiles are going for. Going for that one guy up there. Ah, oh, target. Confliction is absolutely terrible in this game. You know, some guys have just got through, gone off the radar now. Not literally off the radar, but kind of psychologically. A next wave of block of F-16Vs comes in. This mid-21 thinks has escaped on the east. And he has. But he's not going to pull out of that. Well, will he? Huh. He did a parabola. Let's go and have a look at center. The center is all South Korea. And one golden eagle just draining their SAMs. Although here comes the bombers, SU-25 type. The east flank. Finally, the lightnings are here! Right! Now the battle of, now the uh, balance of power is going to change. That's there is a freaking lightning. As much as I don't like them, they are very good. And they are going to start a 120 ing No, it's mixed down. 100 and something, something, something. Uh, North Koreans down. Still, these little merges going on. Do dogfights. You've got a golden eagle and an F5 on one MiG-21. Suck it, MiG-21. Here comes the main 120s. Uh, C-5. And this guy's about to get smacked by... No, he's not. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Pang! The next spawn happens now! The crash dog... Yes, next spawn's in. We're just surviving. Probably nearly 500 planes in now. And we're still operating amazingly. And a whole bunch of dogfights. Right, look how the, the balance has changed here. Now the F-35s have got in. Just a couple of scraggly MiG-21s left alive. And they're chasing these guys. And look, an F-5's got a solitary F-5's gone to get the friggin' Illusions. You, sir, hero F-5. Protect those runways at all costs. Down here, a thing's happening. MiG-21's got all the way down to friggin' 
South of Seoul and to the east. What's he doing down there? He's gone nuts. This guy's coming north. How far south did he get? Oh, he's getting chased up by Golden Eagles, look. Oof. Good news is the eastern flank's now been taken care of. That's the good news. Let's have a look at the western flank. Jesus, look how far the F-16s have pushed in. They are now, and I quote, don't crash, don't crash, 50 nautical miles. They are basically at Pyongyang now. Look at that. That said, in real life, Pyongyang will have a bunch of Davinas over here, so they will be protected, remember? But we've not modeled them. Dogfights between H7s and, I don't even know what that is, F-16Bs. But the problem, why is it going slow now? The F-16s are out of weapons, look. The F-16s are out of weapons. Oh, no, 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 no. Scratch that. The thing I regret now is not giving them sidewinders. I should have given them sidewinders. Once they're in close combat like this, they won't use AIM-120s anymore. Some guys have got down here, some MiG-15s, but they're not going to last. There's an old F-4 Phantom still alive. How did you stay alive? Freaking hero. They're not even bothering with these guys. They're just like, you offer me no threat. I'm going north to Pyongyang to do the big fight. Still Sam's coming out. Look, they're still getting shot. F-5 while weaseling these um, guidelines. Kudos for AMD for staying alive so long. Like I said, in testing, it never got this far without crashing, so... Something going on out there. Oh, an American plane got... Not American. South Korean plane got shot down. Huge mix all the way up to here. A MiG... A tangle between a MiG-29 and F-16. That F-16's got no missiles. And he's running away from an old Alamo, look. I am 100% an old Alamo. 124 North Korean planes down to 37. Where's the next spawn? Next spawn is three minutes. We've got time. F-16 got hit by a MiG-29. Well, it's very possible. It's merged. These F-16s have got no fuel. they got no fuel and no weapons. They probably haven't even got a gun left. So they are just sitting ducks. Now, like I said, I told them not to RTB because I need them to die. So that's as far as you can get. So they can get 50 miles north and then the swarm just entangles them. And they're all out of weapons. They're out of fuel. They're out of everything. Lots of Alamos, lots of MiGs. They've got 40 MiGs or something. So I've got plenty of them. C7 still going out from a fresh batch of F-16s that have taken off. Oh, it's taking down a fulcrum. Pew! Good use for C7 there. A dogfight between a MiG-19 and an F-16 with no ammo. Two minutes till next spawn. 136 North Koreans down, 41 South Koreans down. It's clear that the winner so far is... I think it's got to be South Korea so far to push 50 miles up to the capital. And they're holding that ground. Oh no, look at this. Bombers have somehow got through. This guy's harassing them. They need to think about sending some F-35s over here, but they're not. Send the friggin' F-35s over here. Some F-5s have been... Okay, they've said they don't need the F-35s over there, and it looks like they're sending these guys in. No F-35s have been shot down, and I don't expect any to be shot down. 13 F-16s have been shot down. Um, still MiGs out here. C-7s going in. One MiG left in the fight here. About friggin' time, guys. Now, where are the friggin' lightnings? Can anyone see any lightnings? They're here. What's my main concern about these? Fuel. They will just run out of fuel. They'll burn until they run out of fuel, and then they won't be able to fight. No, the South Koreans have also won the western, eastern flank. Because look, apart from the bombers, which they're about to take down, more bombers are pouring over. Guidelines are still keeping the South Koreans... Up. There's a lightning that's gone into North Korea! About friggin' time, it's like 200 miles, or whatever the size this country is. I think he's out of fuel, and probably not fighting. Or is he going after these guys? Oh, lightning, it could be nine lightning. Missile out. Pang! In the chops! And merge. Oh, it's an F-15! Look, it's an F-15 and he used all of his missiles up. I didn't even have any look at the F-16, F-15s yet. They carry like 10 missiles or something. And they've used them all up. And he's merged in dogfight. F-15 versus old MiG-21s. Now, what's this guy doing? No, he's not playing. Ah! So the F-35s were useless. They didn't have the fuel to get from the south of the country to fight. And they're now, they've now gone stupid. And they're probably going to land at this base here or something stupid like that. That's annoying. But that's where they're stationed in real life, and this was a surprise attack. MiG-21 shooting a thing. Terrible, crappy... Don't crash, please don't crash! M120C7, uh, 5. Die, die, die. Dodged. Not dodged. East side has been won. No, 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 they're just storming the bombers, look. They're literally just storming the bombers. Why are they taking so long about it, I don't know, but... F-15's having a pop with some bombers. Completely out of weapons. Oh no, but one sidewinder. Okay, got an aim, uh, uh, strike eagles, fired a missile on a bomber. About friggin' time. Definitely a thing. Oh, it's already dead. Yeah, Illusions. Jesus, they got further than we ever thought they would. Namrams raining down on Illusions. 
Oh, oh no, what's happened there? Friendly fire! The Amram went on a strike eagle by accident! No! It's all modelled! It can happen! No strike eagle! Where is this? We're a blue falcon! We've got a blue falcon! F-15 on F-15. 161. North Koreans down yet. They're now just smashing these. It's now just easy pickings. East flank is 100% won by the F-15s. F-35s did nothing in the end. Ah, look at that! World War II not taking their AMRAM hits? Question mark? <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, dead strike eagles are in now. They're dead. Well done. Oh, look, and they're just smashing these guys up here as well. Um, how realistic are these to Illusions? I mean, the speed's off, but they've got a rear gunner, they've got a couple of bombs. There's not really a great deal of difference. Otherwise, uh, right. Guys still operate. Look at this. The lone weird F-16 that's got no weapons at all, or fuel, is burning towards some Illusions. Let's check how far north of the border is. Oh, lost. Right? It's Simba, what are you doing up there? Let's check, let's check the distance. He is, and I quote, 73 nautical miles into North Korea. That's like half of the country. He's half of the country up. Ready viewers, I give you Simba. Virtual Simba. And merged way too quick and he's never going to get a chance to turn around. But look how far, in all seriousness, look how far they've pushed. Then these guys are now operating 65 miles. Literally north of the capital pretty much now. C7 still going out and again, most of these are not going to have any missiles. Floggers. Ah, oh, look at that for a dogfight. MiG-29 dogfight in an F4 Phantom. <coughs> Excuse me. Where is he? There he is, F4 Phantom. No, it's not. It's an F16. Oh, I don't know. That's a weird little dogfight going on there. Missile out, F5 down from a flogger. Missed. <laughs> Get some nerd. No, it's an F5 and an F16 tag teaming a flogger and a break fulcrum. Fulcrum, words. That's pretty cool. This fulcrum's got somewhere. He's all... No, he's not Winchester. He's got dead missiles still. But he's got a big boomstick on him. Oof. I wonder how many friendly fires have happened today. Probably tens of friendly fires with these Amrams. What a miss. F-16 MiG-29 dogfight. Yeah. 180, over 180 uh, North Koreans down, 70 South Koreans down, fully operating on the east flank due to the F-16Vs, over, well over 70 miles, a whole squadron is operating, look at that, look at the strength, oh in the east they've pushed into North Korea now, the F-50 Strike Eagles have pushed into North Korea, operating with pretty much impunity. No freaking weapons or fuel, but they're doing a thing. I don't know why, I, I get the feeling that there's a bit of... Oh, no, they are very much dead. Huh. Um, I see why they're still on the map now. A thing happened. F5 is making a freaking meal of these uh, planes. Nearly 190 North Koreans down. These guys merge here. Look at those guidelines! Shooting a strike eagle in the face. Missed. Hit a golden eagle. God damn it. Still got active guideline sights. Center is... Oh, the blues have pushed in the center now. The F-16s are pushing the center. We're now in... We're now fully dominating North Korea. And reminder, this is even without America's help. And these guys have all been shot down. They're now shooting nearly... Oh, shooting frog feet. Look. Frog feet getting shot within North Korea. Guidelines are all out of ammo or ineffective. And this guy is insatiable. No ammo, nothing. Just the grit of the South Koreans by the looks of it. It's going to merge, put some guns into those frog feet. No, I was wrong. They are not out of Sam's look. They just are not effective enough against these F-16s who are dodging them, ECMing them, whatever in them. Old 50s missiles, remember? This is not a 50s missile. This is a brand new missile that just arrived in the last few days, pretty much, from America. I saw the order on the America's Ministry of Defense sheet, whatever they call it, there to be clear. Get some. Look at these guys pushing a massive hole like the Battle of the Bulge into North Korea. They do have more SAMs, but the, the next layer of SAMs are way over here. So this theoretically is kind of possible. I mean, I haven't modeled man pads and stuff like that because you're just getting stupid at that point. You know, I won't be able to do it. Smash! Just going in there, chucking. Oh, he's found an EWR, look. This is where all the um, North Korean information to come from. Five EWRs, uh, like 30 miles north of the DMZ. In real life, obviously, seed missions would come and shoot these, but the same would happen on both sides, I expect, so hence I've not modelled the seed. Okay, even on the east flank now, they've pushed right into North Korea, and they're doing North Korean things. 
So the balance of power is absolute and complete. Smash, 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 smash. Last Illusions here getting picked off. Little dog fights going on here. What the hell is that? Yeah, it's another one. Got separated from his flight. Look, we're right up here in, in the middle of no man's land in North Korea now, smashing AIM 20 C7s into aircraft. Bang! Look how far north we're operating. Here we're still 70 plus miles over the capital. Just mopping up the base. The, all the spawns have done in the capital. No, they haven't. These guys, look, these guys came from north of the capital. There are still fighters there that need shooting down. This guy's gone friggin' lone shark and it's just taking everything down. Look at him. He's, he ran out of missiles a long time ago, but he doesn't give a crap. This guy does not out of missiles. He's shooting down. Break. Frog feet. Mmm, I love eating frog feet with my AIM 120 C7 in the morning. And smack! You never got nowhere, mate. Pyang! More C7s coming out. He's a dead frog foot. Or not. Also. It's like a 50 pound warhead or something on that. It'll just chew a uh, plane to pieces. And that's it. I think it's Winchester. Yeah, it's Winchester. 351 beyond the visual range missiles from the blue side. Wow, look at that. Where does it say that? Oh, yeah. So that's probably pretty much all 200 C7s and a whole bunch of C5s. Pretty much all, them, all the Amrams they've got in South Korea, minus the Americans. This guy's chasing around some MiG-17 over a SAM site. Oh, no! <laughs> Frogfoot's fried an old aphid! An F-16! <coughs> <coughs> and he's seen it. His MWS is like, warning, warning, warning. Nerd, nerd. And he's like, yeah, count the measure the F out of that. See you later, friggin' nerd missile. Flare rejection's not good enough. And he's chasing them down, though. And that's a rear aspect shot. That's a dead F-16. Oh, shot down by frog feet. Right. Better cut that out of the video. The South Koreans will not be happy with that. Don't mess with frog feet. Don't mess with A-10. There are now no North Koreans on the, in the east of Korea. They've just been shot down. And look how far these F-16s have pushed now. 80 miles. We're now 80 nautical miles over the capital. I'm just wiping, just bombing the capital and strafing the infrastructure and strafing the Davina sites and all that stuff. Pang! Another flogger down. The floggers just didn't stand a chance, even against F-16s with no friggin' ammo. What is that all about? And everything's set up fair here. In fact, it's actually set up in North Korea's favour, like Simba said. I've set everyone up with fair pilot training. So there was no bias here. It was all set up as best as I can do it. F5 killed it. At the end of the day, if you don't modernise your air force... Look at this. Good fight. H7 versus F5. Game's on! Three FPS dogfight. Still Sam's in the air, I see. That's it. That's the last spawn. That spawned seven guys at 35 minutes in, if my maths is correct. Let's chew up the rest of the North Koreans. God, this was a ridiculously good victory. Oh, no, a new spawn. That's the last spawn. That spawned seven. In come the last floggers. F-16s going almost certainly with no... Yo, oh, look at that. He's freaking still got all his tanks and his shotguns. Pang! How... He's 90 miles into North Korea with all of his missiles. And he's just twizzing them out. How does that even freaking happen? Flogger's just like, I'm not built for this. Brilliant. Missed. This one then. Pang. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Your stupid old 70s missile can't compete, I'm afraid. What about this guy? Has he got any ammo? No. He's an old one. And he probably will get shot down because it looks like he's out of fuel as well. No, he's not. He's not. Look at this guy circle around the back. I am Le Vulture. Oh, MiG-19. Pom! Here we go. Friggin' Simba's just smashing in. No fuel, no ammo. Breaks him apart. Ping, ping, ping. Oh, shot from behind! Shot to the heart! And F-16's to blame. Look at that. That, sir, is some serious dominance going on. Oh, friendly fire! I just saw friendly fire! <coughs> F-16 just shot an F-16. I reckon a lot of those F-16 kills were other F-16s shooting them with AMRAMs, which is inevitable in a fight like this. It's avoiding friendly fire with Fox 3s in this. This is impossible. You could say they give love a bad name. Oof. Look at this fight. Look at this fight to finish the day off. An F-16 with no fuel or ammo shooting down a friggin' flogger who just can't maneuver with it. Yeah, spray. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I think it lags too bad for the bullets to friggin' hit. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Hits. <laughs> Pilot snipe. Well done, mate. You can go back to wherever that. I don't know any towns in friggin' South Korea. And pang, finish him off. Woo! 
which is jolly exciting. Steel C7 armed F-16s. And like I said, everything is modelled for the correct ratios. This is how many they would have. Oh, I'm, guys, I'm so glad I sacrificed my weekend to do this. It's the thing about Valley Views. A lot of stuff I do, a lot of scenarios I do and hours I put in never even make it to the screen because they just end up not working. This one, it's taken bloody ages, but it's actually worked in the end and you actually get to see it. Uh, right, just polishing up. Let's get rid of these last fighters. The last bombers are probably dead to be. Yeah, look. <laughs> it's been North Korean. Glorious. Look, it, look, that guy's literally lecturing his glorious leader. Um, don't know why they've got Luftwaffe crosses on. Make of that what you will, guys. But Illusion is 100%. It's cool how they get out like that, right? Illusion is 100% down. Illusion is down. Illusion is down. Oh, it's just stop it rolling. Illusion is down. Oh, that one's not even got a wing. How did you land, boys? The glorious leader landed for us, sir. The glorious leader's now being friggin' bombed, I'm afraid, by F-16s. West Wing is complete. They're all pushing in. Look, they're pushing in to bomb Pyongyang. Last fighters are going down now. Last dogfight between freaking Hero F-16, who just worked, been up for like ever. I know the camera is. No, he hasn't. Look at that way to finish it. Friggin' scissors with a MiG-19. Zam! Zam, 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 zam! Can't quite get him. Bang! Oh, shut his face right off! Good lord! That's a Vulcan cannon, I'm afraid. And it's just, let's face it, much superior airframe. Bang! That's it. Oh, we got there, guys. <coughs> we got them. Look at the map. Oh, we did it! Look at the map after that. And that was without America. All done fairly and squarely, as I've tried very hard to show you. Hundreds, hundreds of South Koreans still alive. Um, it says 286. There were actually a lot more. There were. Can anyone remember from my old briefing sheet? There were 340. 20 324 it just didn't get some of the kills for some reason and some of them aren't dead but 300 plus are dead basically south korea lost 95 aircraft 21 f5s nine phantoms so one phantom survived there is a phantom in there that survived or it didn't register as death eight f15s that f15s did well they, they got 40 of them and eight survived sorry eight died so f15s did great and one was a friendly kill and one was a friendly on friend on friend i'm sure a lot of them were golden eagles 23 died but a lot survived 60 survived so that's pretty good f-16s did well uh of 85 we got modeled here 34 did and they did the lion's share of the fighting all of this killing around on the east side was f-16s and they've gone all the way 106 nautical miles over half of the country into north korea and only 34 died which is amazing really red weapons a lot of them weren't counted i noticed because some of them a lot of those missiles I just ended up not getting into the sheet. The MiG-29 weapons weren't in the sheet. The MiG-23 weapons weren't in the sheet. The Blues, 434 beyond visual range missiles were fired. AIM-120 C7s, AIM-120 C5s, and AIM-7 Sparrows. 70 within visual range sidewinders were fired. Again, the reason you don't see many red on the reds fired is simply because I just didn't have them in the sheet, so they won't come up on the sheet. It's too much work for me. 99 SAMs were fired, about the same, and I did have the SAMs equal on both sides, so that makes complete sense. Total inflation adjusted money. South Korea lost, amazingly, only 2 billion, but that's because their planes are worth nothing. Um, the South Korea, although they lost only a third of the amount of wares, lost 5 billion. So that is the only negative side, obviously, of a modern air force. Uh, you will lose some, regardless, and it does cost a lot of money. But they've won the war, and they've now put North Korea completely out of action. Stuff on the east side didn't surprise me. Uh, the times I've been there, that if the North Koreans ever got frisky, it was over there, because it's farther away from the uh, bases and stuff. I do know that China right now is feeling very nervous. Because we've pushed, I mean, this is 1953 all over again. They pushed all the way to the to the river there, didn't they? So the same thing is happening again now. The Americans haven't even intervened yet, mm -hmm. so China doesn't even have an excuse to get in the war. <laughs> Plus, nothing, nothing on the ground's really changed. The North Koreans are so dug in there that they could do without the Air Force, just hunker down for years. And you also got to remember, like, while two billion may not seem like a lot, North Korea's GDP, annual GDP is only like 17 or 18 billion. And on top of that, like, we didn't even model in, like, the bombers that would have been coming in on the American side right behind that. But, yeah, as expected, modern weaponry was going to 
dominate the air war there. I must admit, I didn't expect that. I thought, as happens quite a lot in DCS, I thought the numbers would overwhelm the blues, and they didn't. The quality really showed through there. Not in pilots, because we've got equal pilots here, but the quality of the sensors, the airframes, and the weapons really showed through. And obviously, the kill ratios were three to one. As a summary, I would say North Korea. I really don't think you should attack South Korea. I think it's a bad idea. Uh, guys, so thanks for turning up. And uh, viewers, let us know what you think. And we will see you later.